Hey, what's up guys? It is DJ. Today we're taking a look at a couple new pieces of equipment from Thrustmaster. We've got the SimTask farm stick and the SimTask steering kit, which allows me to angle this steering wheel in any direction. I'm also going to be utilizing the flying clamp to hang onto the farm stick, and this works really good. Both of these can actually be used on your desk at the exact same time. However, because I have a double PC setup, I need a second keyboard, so I've got a little table down here for the steering wheel. And let's actually start with the steering wheel, because we did a video on this over two years ago here on the channel, so you should go back and check that out if you haven't seen it already. But what we haven't looked at is how this works. So we've got screws on either side. We have six of them allowing us to take this and drop it down. If you just drop it down, it holds level, which is super cool. You can raise it up if you want to, maybe get a little extra height on it or get it just about the same height that you would uh, if you had it on your desk. Now, because your desk level is here, this is going to be kind of below that. Also, be careful about the, how you run your cables. I ran mine through this way, uh, but I think it would have been better coming out the backside. Nonetheless, this is absolutely epic, and I'm really surprised that I've never seen anything like this on the market before. This is genius. And so already, I'm sure most of you guys are asking, okay, well, what about consoles, PC? What does this stuff work with? Well, the nice thing about this steering wheel setup is you can use that for any platform you're playing on because it's just a piece of hardware. So if you've got a T128 or like I have the T248 for Xbox and PC, I can use that on PC or I can use it on my Xbox with Farming Simulator or any other game and be just fine. But the farm stick is a little bit of a different story. This is a PC only piece of equipment. So if you're playing on consoles, there's no reason to get this. But if you're playing on PC, there's actually a lot of reasons to get this. Because you can have two different controllers at the same time with Farming Simulator on PC, I'm able to have a side stick, the farm stick, and the steering wheel all at the same time, and even we get a wheel, a knob to turn with this new pack. However, to make things a little bit easier on myself, we're just gonna be using the farm stick today. Mainly because I found it almost impossible to use a wheel and pedals while standing up and while we do these videos standing up. So let's take a look at the different buttons on here, what you can do, and maybe some stuff that you can't do. So first off, we can see we've got a couple different bits and on the right hand side, we see working mode and driving mode. So if we press the top button on the very back, that's gonna put us in working mode or driving mode. One thing that I have found is that I'm pretty sure these are flip flopped. So I'm able to do all the things in driving mode that I could do with working mode and backwards. Maybe it's just me, I haven't reset anything. I literally hit reset on my key bindings before doing this video. When you're in working mode versus driving mode, there's only a couple things that change. So we have the scroll wheel right here. We also have the two orange buttons that go like clicking up and down. Uh, and then, uh, well, that's pretty much it. The good thing is utilizing these two modes makes things a lot easier because you can look around and drive and do all kinds of other stuff that you want to with this. I do want to give a quick shout out to RZ Gaming for sending this over to me and showing me this because I had not seen this before he mentioned it. So big shouty outie to him. And if you want to screenshot this or take a look, please feel free to pause the video now. Right off the bat, there's a lot of very simple things that you could do with this farm stick. So if we press it forward, we walk forwards. If we pull back, we walk back. And if we go to the left or to the right, we go left and right. Our knob on the very top allows us to look around and we can even do all of that at the same time. There is a button on the very back. There's two, we've got the working mode or dry mode, but if we hold the second one, we run. It's great. We also have the two buttons in the center. Now, these don't say much about what they do when you're on the ground and not in a tractor or anything, but however, you could use the top one to jump and you could use the other one to crouch. That's so cool. But when it comes to running around, that's about all you could do even in the game. So let's go up to our tractor here and do a little bit of working. So we want to get into the tractor. Now, the button that it says to get in and out of is the top right hand button here, top left hand button rather. So that's the one that works perfectly fine. It also says the middle one works for that. However, the middle one goes to the map for me and, and this one takes away our uh, our menu, which you guys can't see because my big head's underway. So things that we can do, let's put it into dry mode. Let's turn it on, I'm gonna hit start. That's just so cool, man, it's just so cool. If we go forwards, backwards, side to side, you can see the tractor's doing nothing. If we go into working mode, again, nothing is happening because I don't have anything attached here. We can still move around here. See, I've got it into driving mode now and this is going to control my uh, 
the, the bit of the uh, cruise control. Wow, good job, DJ. Cruise control. This It says that it does that in working mode. However, it does that in driving mode. When I'm in working mode, I can actually zoom in and out, which makes things super easy. Also in working mode, the two rocker, the orange rockers, don't do anything. So you can actually map these the way that you want. Uh, again, it says a drive mode, that's the way it is, but it's actually working mode. If we switch over to driving mode now, the left rocker changes my gear and the right rocker changes my different uh, mode. So uh, let's say I'm doing high, medium, and low. That's going to be with the right rocker. And if I do the left one, that's going to be first gear, second gear, third gear, on and on. Now, one of the nice things is if you're an Xbox player, for example, like I am, uh, I can do pretty much all of this and I can still get in and out, move around, do what I need to do uh, quickly. However, if I didn't have that Xbox controller, then I could easily take a second one and I could utilize this completely separately if I wanted to. And whenever we go into the game mappings for all of our controllers, we can easily set these things. So as you can see right now on the left-hand side, I've got everything for my game pad or my Xbox controller. On the right side, you can see SimTask farm stick right. Ooh. So now we're back into the game and I've got both of these plugged in. See, told you, got this one other plugged in. Unfortunately, this one thinks that it's the main one now. Not sure how that happened. So let's run a little bit of an experiment. I've only got one plugged in now and we're back normal the way it should be. And I think it worked because now I've got both of them plugged in and one of them, only one of them is currently working. And there's only one way to find out if this is gonna work or not. So let's go in, let's see our Farm sticks right here, vehicle driving. Let's go accelerate, push forward on the left one. Oh, it's his farm stick right again. Oh man. So utilizing two of these, totally doable, but I'm not quite sure. Okay, that works. Let's go, let's tap into our vehicle. Let's start it up. And if I push forward, it shouldn't go anywhere, and it's not. But if I push forward on the other one, oh, it is working! So now I can utilize both of these at the same time. We'll pull back a little bit. Oh, this is working. I didn't anticipate having to do all of this <laughs> with two hands, but it's working, and I'm able to, to turn and steer. I mean, look at that. So running two of these is actually possible. However, you just have to be a little bit careful. It also feels weird to drive with the left one, so maybe that's something I'm not supposed to do, but because you can run two of these, you can just plug both of them in and, and they simply work. I don't know if they'll work with the steering wheel or not. Uh, Farming Simulator supposedly only accepts two controllers at the same time, but I mean, you can see, I'm just, I'm just able to, to do it, man. Oh, I forget that I have to turn with this one. I should have set turning to this one. But what else can we do with just one if we decided to run with just one? We've now got front loader tools. So let's tab into our vehicle. I'm gonna push forward on the other controller here. Let's see if we can do this. Oh boy. Also, you can click down on the left stick and actually go into this. This is so tough to do with your left hand. All right, nice and easy. All right, attach. It says button number five. But the weird thing is the button that it says it's supposed to be actually doesn't work and I'm, I'm not quite sure why the button for next tool is the one that works and this one really doesn't do anything at least with the uh, the way i've got everything set up right now not sure why but since we've got it let's see if i can slowly back up and then slowly pull forward here to get that we'll attach that up and then now we really get to see how everything goes. So we're gonna go into working mode. This is gonna allow us to do pretty much everything with this tool. So when we pull back, it raises up. When we push down, it pushes it down. Whenever we go left to right, that happens. And then whenever we press the button on the very back, the bottom one, then we can now control that. So we could still control up and down. We could still control that. And then we could do every bit of that. So that is really cool. You know, sorry for the, uh, the jerky camera motions. I've got my camera set all the way up because I'm very delicate with a controller. This I'm trying to get used to. So now I can have full range of motion with all of this, have control over everything, and have control over my front loader if I need to. 
Uh, it's not the easiest thing to do. It's very out of my uh, my comfort zone, but it is pretty darn cool that you can control all of this just with a joystick in Farming Simulator. It's so cool. And one thing that makes it easy whenever you're ready to plug in a controller or maybe you want to use your steering wheel, which is basically the exact same thing as your controller, just split up. Uh, well, you're good to go there. One of the big times that you would want to use something like this joystick is with logging equipment. And uh, I can be honest with you, this Komatsu is super duper cool to use this with. You can control everything literally with just with just the buttons. So let's turn it on. And then we'll take a look at a couple of the easy things we do. So we can pull that back. We can push forward, which is going to push us into the ground. Uh, we can turn it on. There we go. And now we have full access to everything. Now, when we turn this, we actually have full twist in order to get to where you need to go. However, there are some other bits. As long as we're in working mode, we could actually just move these two little bits here up and down very easily. And then, whenever we do this, we can extend that out as far as you need to. So you've got full control over quite literally every bit right here, just on this little controller right here. And that is that is just so cool to be able to do that. Uh, we can even go into first person here just to showcase it a little bit better. It actually looks very good. And I feel more connected to the piece of equipment with it like this, which is kind of nice. Uh, and then we even can look and see and do everything you need to do here. Uh, it's still kind of, I would say a little bit weird just because it's 2D and not 3D. Uh, if we were playing in VR, it might be a little bit more immersive and maybe a little bit easier to manage all of this. But it's still really cool that you could do it like this. Of course, if you have two joysticks, you can control all of that. FDR logging is already done, I think, at least one video, maybe even two, showing off everything when it comes to all of that. So you definitely need to make sure to check that out. Here's a very neat scenario. So we've got a tractor and then we've got a piece of equipment in the back. Let's walk up to this and let's jump in because there's quite a few things that we could do just with this. So the first things first, we want to turn on our tractor. Next thing we want to do is connect it. So I'll press my connection button. We got seeds of fertilizer in here. So this piece of equipment specifically needs to be unfolded, lowered, and turned on. And we have dedicated buttons just for that. So very first, let's uh, unfold it, which I believe is this button right here on the bottom right hand corner. So that's going to unfold. And then we have the raise and lower button, which is going to raise and lower all the pieces of equipment that you have. And then we have the turn on button. And so now our cedar is on, ready to go. And we can pretty much do any combination of any buttons that we need to do after that. One other thing that I really like about this is there's a lot of buttons that have double function. So for example, this button at the top, we can press that in. This scroll wheel right here, we can press that in as well. These guys go up and down. These have special functions. However, F1 and F2, as far as I know, are only set to uh, tool function four and tool function six or three, I believe which I don't even know what those are. So you can control those and put them on whatever you want. As for the buttons on the back, if you guys want to see that, so they are right here. Uh, they are ergonomic. I mean, very, very ergonomic. They fit right where you think they would. Ba bam super easy. And for everything else, it's pretty much the way you want it to be. So of course we have our start button. Uh, as I mentioned, this button really doesn't connect the way it's supposed to, but you could remap that. We have tab to other tractors. We have our uh, side markers. We've got all kinds of functions for menus and things like that. And even on the other side through here, we've got all kinds of stuff that you do inside and outside the tractor. As I mentioned before, we have forwards, backwards, left, right, all the way around, plus turning if you guys need that. And of course, between working mode and driving mode. So other than that, there's really not much else to talk about when it comes to this piece of equipment. Of course, utilizing two of these at the same time really expands what you could do. And, and uh, utilizing just one really is super cool. I've got my Xbox controller on my left here, and then I've got this on the right, and I'm able to have a little bit more fun than I would normally. Of course, if you got your steering wheel, you take that mile, turn it to wild, and you can have even more fun doing that. So 
definitely check this out and I've got some prices for you. If we jump onto the Thrustmaster website, most of this stuff is super easy to find. Of course, in joysticks, well, that's probably where you're gonna find these, but we've got a new one, farming and trucking. In here, we can see both the Simtas farm stick as well as the steering kit. Now, steering kit's not too bad, about 80 bucks, and uh, each of your shifters, the farm stick, that's gonna cost you $99, so 80 and 100 respectively. There are two wheels that work with the kit. You can either use the T128, which is actually on sale right now, 149 bucks on their website. Normally it's 200. Or you could use the wheel that I have, which is the T248 that comes with the wheel as well as the pedals. So the other one does too, but we have a clutch pedal added with this one and it is $400. And just in case, if you wanted to go with the flying clamp, that is also going to be $80. So both of the clamps to put these on your desk are the same price. Unfortunately, I don't have any ref links or anything like that for Thrustmaster stuff, but I will leave a few links in the description for you guys to check out if you want to get any of these. So then now it is your turn. I want to hear from you. What are some things that you want to see me do with these joysticks or the steering wheel or maybe the setup for the wheel? What are some questions that you have? What are some concerns maybe that you have? Or are there any like A and B things you would like me to compare them with? Having the opportunity to work with Rustmaster on showing all of this stuff off has been a lot of fun. So I do want to thank those guys for sending this stuff over. So questions, concerns, comments, maybe there's something that you are still a little bit curious about. Let me know. I also want to encourage you to check out some of the other content creators that have done stuff on these pieces of equipment. Clutch Simulation's got a great video out. Of course, Argzy Gaming released his very recently to me making my video. So check those out if you have any more questions. Otherwise, I just hope you have an awesome day. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.